So we'll just start with just some mindful breathing. Just beginning to settle a bit at your own pace and feeling the breath in the body. Maybe this is the first time today that you're noticing that you even have a body, much less are able to breathe in it. <laughs> so feeling the breath. If you like, you can do the mindful breathing, the Anapanasati that Tajay has taught us. And you breathe in, breathe out, count. Letting also the breath be filling the belly with a sense of generosity, gentleness. Just let the belly and the lower back soften and open. And breathing out. Exploring all the different chambers of the body by touching them gently with your breath. Also the mid body, the ribs, around to the front, the diaphragm muscle at the solar plexus. Breathing in, stretching that muscle gently. This place where we hold so much, oh goodness, it's a, a lock, if you will, in the yogic tradition, this place in the diaphragm. We hold a lot of feeling energy, a lot of tension here. Especially things about insecurity or invalidation or powerlessness. So breathe in and really sort of stretch gently this diaphragmatic muscle with your breath. Gently hold as you inhale and breathe out. And if you feel a subtle quiver here, a quivering, this is actually really normal. It happens to me all the time when I do this diaphragmatic breathing and then it eases up. It's part of the release. Breathing in, opening the chest, lifting the chest. Breathing out, letting go, but remaining in this lift. Breathing in, ascending the spine, just slightly lifting as if you're bringing space into the vertebrae, between the vertebrae. Breathing out, remain in this lift, this posture of presence and dignity. Melting on the exhale, melting the body down around this upright spine. Dropping the chin, we lengthen the back of the neck. And just dropping mind dissolving mind down into body like pouring salt into water. This balance between us, a strong back and a softness in the belly strong back, soft front, stability, equanimity, perfectly balanced with flexibility and caring.
And I often like to simply meditate on the heart as being like a fresh flower opening in the morning sun. One petal at a time. No need to rush. This silent receptivity. Like a flower receiving the light of the sun on a crisp morning. Breathing in and out of the heart. And whenever you're ready, you can just bring to mind whoever or whatever your benefactor is in this moment that you will practice with. If you like, you can also visualize a place in nature or somewhere else that conveys to you a sense of refuge and safety, well-being and calm. Maybe it's a garden, a place you visited, or a place in your mind that you would love to inhabit. Simply being open and inviting your benefactor or benefactors and seeing who shows up here. Keeping the breath in and out, steady, natural. You can think of it as the in-breath being receptive to the benefactor, and the out-breath being an invitation to the benefactor. Just spend a moment together. And reflecting on the qualities the qualities of this what this benefactor offers you warmth caring A sense of lightness, maybe even light, from their heart to yours. Perhaps you know that they are seeing your deepest goodness. They know your true potential, your potential to be wise and loving beings too. Sometimes 
hard to see in ourselves, but they see it in us. and offering you also an unconditional form of love. You are fine just as you are for this benefactor. If a narrative of deserving or not deserving what they offer arises. This is also quite natural. But just see this, whatever form of thought this is, is another thought, another cognition that has no substance in this practice. It just arises. Let it be, let it be, let it go. may be that practicing with this benefactor that you also invite another benefactor. This is not necessary, but if you'd like to meet others too, you can invite them in as well to be part of this council or this field of beings. Or perhaps it's a pet. Could even just simply be a place, the place you're in. Or just an energy of love. And the breath, breathing in this receptivity, breathing out this invitation, this contact with this being. And for some, it can be helpful to take your hand and just gently place it over your heart. If you find that you need that support, knowing that the touch of your palm over your heart is also an expression of what you receive from this benefactor, the loving touch. And whenever you're ready, just beginning to let go of this benefactor. 
not losing anything, but just dissolving the image of this being. And sense yourself being an embodiment of what you've received from them. It's just releasing the effort to relax into the afterglow, the openness, the feeling of warmth that is now yours, part of you. You have become the love that they have offered you. It is part of you. Breathing in, receiving, breathing out, now radiating this love, just if you, as you have received it, you may now send it out. perhaps sending it out to each other in this practice together or to those you love in your family, beloveds, friends, those who may be suffering in the world, even those who are in a state of great joy and contentment. Let it be easeful and freely available to yourself, to others, to all beings. <laughs> 